Righto guys, welcome. So today's video is going to be a bit different to my usual racing and things like that. I'm uh, going to do a bit of a tutorial of sorts. I don't know how I'm going to go with this because I'm not great at this sort of stuff. Um, but basically it's going to... The tutorial is to explain how to launch the 911 Cup car off the line. And this can be... Sorry, to launch it off the line without a dual clutch paddle on your steering wheel now this can be used in the the formula 3 the ruf gt3 um probably supercar i suppose any car that's sequential shift doesn't require a clutch to change gears and yeah you obviously at a standing start so first things first i'll go into the into a test session uh, and I'll go through that in a second, and I'll explain what you need to do for the test set in the in the first test session first, before we go and modify things. Righto. So now I've hopefully the screen glare off the the webcam is not too bad. So what I'm going to show you, if we go into the options, once you so you sit, so sorry, set up a test session. Um, and on that test session, you just go to centripetal circuit, grab the 911 Cup car or whatever you want to set it for. Um, just go into your options. So on your in your pedals, you want to you want to calibrate all your pedals the same way you normally would, but you need to have your clutch set to a button on your wheel. So for me, I'm using on the Thrustmaster TX I'm using the SE button as my primary clutch and then for, once you've done that then you just go over to controls down here to second clutch and on second clutch you want to set your clutch pedal on your pedal on your pedal set to your second clutch so you just calibrate it like you normally would for your normal clutch but that's going to be your second clutch I suppose Sorry if the hands are in the way of the camera a bit. So from there, once you've done that, you quit out of the quit out of the uh, game. I don't know why I just saved that replay, but anyway. So you can leave all this running. And then what you need to get, I'll have a link in the description you need to download this program which is called Sublime Text 3 I think I believe it is um, and what that does is it allows you to open up a file so what I'll do is I'll go get rid of all this stuff so then if you go to your folders I'll bring that down here so you can see it so if you go into your folders and if you go documents iRacing setups and then you find your car, so for me it's the Porsche 911 Cup and you've got this Joy Calib file now once you've got Sublime Text installed you open up this Joy Calib file and it gives you this stuff so this gives you... Uh, hang on we'll, we'll make it a bit smaller just so it's a bit easier to see Something like that. We'll go with that. Right. So on the Joy Calib file, you have your wheel axis, your clutch, your brake, your accelerator, calibrations. So for me, for the Porsche, you want about 50 to 55 percent. So because I've got Logi, I'm using Logitech pedals. I have changed this. If I can find my cursor. Where is my cursor? I don't know. I have changed my clutch here. To, for, for, so for a Logitech you need to have the minimum has to be a negative number to give you your percentage of your clutch. So for the for the Logitechs I find about minus 270 gives me about 50% um, bite point. And it's, it's a number you're going to have to play around with depending on what pedals you've got. But basically what you do is you, you change this number in here. So for me, argument's sake, I'll go and change this to... We'll go 
minus 100. Then you go file, save, and then that overwrites it. So then we go back into your iRacing, hit test drive, and we'll be back in a second. Righto, so now that we've done that, so what you want to check is, so when I put my clutch pedal, my, my clutch pedal in now, which is going to be my second clutch, if I push it in, you can see that on the screen there that I'm only at about, I'm at, I'm at about 80% engaged on the clutch. So then you push your button and it gives you full, it gives you, it'll give you full, a fully engaged clutch if you push your button. So what you want to do to start it, put your put pedal in all the way, put, hold the button in, grab first gear, foot to the floor, release the button and then slowly bring out the clutch. So as, you've no, as you would have noticed then, that with the clutch all the way in, at that 80% or whatever it is, you just don't have the except, you don't have the grip for the buy point. You, you, it's just, it's doing a lot of revs, it's not doing any, any wheel speed. So what we do there, now, I'll just skip all the trial and error bits that you're going to have to do, but you've got to basically work out what that bite, po bite point needs to be. Um, so if I go in here, I'll leave all that stuff up. So where I change it to minus 100, I know that minus... Right, oh, so now that we're back in, you'll be able to see that when I push the, clut push the clutch in, we're about halfway, um, which is what you want. So then just do the same thing again clutch in all the way, hold your button on, select first, full RPM, release the clutch, release the pe pedal, and you're good. So we'll spin around and we'll do it again, and we'll go that way. So you clutch pedal in, hold your button, grab first gear, which I've already got anyway, grab it, full RPM, off the button, and I took the clutch out too fast, I bobbed down, but you get the idea. So then what we'll do is, so that's that's the general rule of it. So from what I'll do now is give me a minute, which will be like this for you guys, and I'll load up a replay of what the start should look like when you get it right. Righto, so this is where I'll be able to show you is what, when you get it right, and put it all together, how it works. Um, a lot of the fast guys, you know, with their with their good wheels, have got the dual paddles for the dual clutch, and you normally can set a bite point for that. So this is basically all this replicates at the end of the day. But anyway, I'll show you what should happen if you get the start correct. Right. -o. So yeah, anyway, so that's it. So that's how how much of a difference it can make on the starts. Um, there'll be I've got no doubt there's going to be some that'll say it's cheating, but at the end of the day, it's literally no different to uh, using dual dual paddles on your on your fancy wheels and things like that. It's just a a way of if you haven't got the coin or you haven't got the the, the the equipment to be able to do the proper dual clutch setup. This is just a way around it to help you get good starts every every week. Um, I use it in the Porsche all the time. Um, I also use it in the RUF GT3, but it's, that's a lot more complicated uh, to get the starts right because you've got traction control. You've also got to deal with as well. But um, and I and I'm more than happy to do a video about setting that up if if anyone's interested so let us know in the comments what you thought of the video um, hopefully it's not too long winded and hard to understand um, like I said I'll leave the in, there'll be a link in 
the description on the app that I use to edit the file. Um, so yeah, go check it out. If you have any trouble, feel free to get hold of me. Let me know. Um, I'll try and help as best as I possibly can. Um, and anyway, if you like the video and you want to see more of this sort of stuff, uh, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.